What's up YouTube, Eugene here. And as the title states, I am starting my own perfume brand. This is something that I've wanted to do for a few years now, and it's finally come into fruition. It's literally years of manifesting, and for a long time I kept quiet and silent and didn't ask and didn't want to talk about it in order to make a lot of people around me comfortable, but now I'm gonna start looking out for myself and fulfilling my dreams and goals and my passions of owning my own perfume brand. This is really what I wanna do and I think this is just really the next natural step in my progression. Uh, I've talked about fragrance addiction for you know many, many videos, talked about it quite a bit and I think that for me would have been a problem if uh, I didn't move on, but you know, if I just kept buying and buying and buying uh, with no end result really, uh, it would have been a problem. But now that I do have some goals and, and dreams that I want to fulfill, and I'm going to be creating something from love uh, instead of uh, burying myself from a lack of self love, it really changes my whole perspective. So I feel really aligned with this. Uh, I'm confident and I'm comfortable. This is really what I want to do. Uh, it's not to say that I haven't, you know, run into a lot of closed doors in this journey. It's really opened up my eyes. I've talked to a lot of the flavor uh, flavoring houses over the summer uh, in order to get some fragrance creation done. I've spoke to IFF and actually I've reached out to IFF and Ferminiche and Givadon and Takasago and Mon and the only one really to respond to me was uh, Givadon and we had two Zoom calls over the, su the past summer and you know for a bit it kind of looked promising until they had all these expectations of me uh, before they would start any creation. They wanted me to have uh, my bottles purchased, my fillers lined up, conditioning, uh, packaging, website sales uh, running, so a lot of things going on. They also wanted a massive minimum order quantity for perfume oils, which was kind of like, whoa, like what am I going to do with all this oil? Like it just going to, I got to store it somewhere and I would need a, a warehouse pretty much, um, which isn't the problem, but uh, even as far as vendors go for bottles, um, most places want you to have or order 20,000 bottles, 50,000 bottles. Uh, the bigger places, the, the French brands like the uh, Poche and Ecruve, the ones that distribute for Guerlain and Chanel and Roja, they want you to order 800,000 bottles, minimum order quantity. I've got samples, you know, I've got a lot of samples. Here's here's literally, I think this is literally Roja Dove's bottle. I measured it with calipers and compared it to Roja's. It's, it's literally his bottle. Um, I really like a round bottle like this. I think it fits nicely in the hand. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I haven't made a final decision. I have found some suppliers that do work in, in, in smaller quantities. I also did check out French, um, Chinese brands, which I have no interest in working with, but I did want to see what they were like, what their quality was like. And their quality wasn't bad. It, I, I got to say it wasn't much worse than the French brands. Like some of their bottles are a little bit warped. This is obviously an unmarked Sauvage bottle with a Sauvage cap, you know. So their bottles are a little bit more warped, but looking at the brands behind me, looking at their bottles, their bottles are warped just as well. I, I, I really inspected them. Here's literally another knockoff. You know what this is a knockoff of. Uh, and I just filled this up with a, a brandy just to kind of replicate perfume. So a lot of places, vendors do you want you to have these massive minimum order quantities. Um, uh, perfumer, yes, the most important part. And this is really why I haven't said anything up until now is I wanted to secure a perfumer. And I, I, I just literally today got off a Zoom call with a perfumer, um, one that I never even had in mind until a friend, you know, messaged me randomly one day and said, hey, have you heard of this perfume? I think you would really like it. Uh, go check it out. And I was like, why? 
I saw the pictures of it. It has this really cool logo to it. And I've heard a little bit, but I'm not very familiar. And then I, I instantly, my first reaction as a fragrance geek is to look up the perfumer. I was like, oh, wow. Yes, he would be a great choice as a perfumer. And uh, spoke to him today. He's kind of a rock star. He's got 30 years of training or, or perfuming behind him. He's got classical French perfuming. He's a purist at heart. He loves uh, traditional French classic perfumes, loves working with naturals. Like his naturals are some of the highest in all perfume, his concentration. So I love that. Uh, I'm absolutely thrilled to be working with somebody that's uh, really so insane with naturals. Um, he's very open-minded. Uh, he's not really into commercial perfume, so he, he is a little bit stubborn about that. He's got a little bit of an ego, which I like, but he's also very conscious of today's market. Uh, so yeah, we had a, an hour and a half a Zoom call, and we're just going to work out uh, a contract in the next couple of days, and I'm, I can't wait to actually announce uh, who the perfumer is. It's, it's actually quite thrilling and exciting, and um, it was fun getting to know him and talk to him today. I do have a couple of us his perfumes. I smell quite a bit of his work and, and he is quite, he's quite legendary. I'd say, I think a lot of you guys will recognize who he is. Uh, I, I don't want to say quite yet. I don't want to jinx it. I should be getting a contract to look over every day. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting him to come on the Zoom call. I was, you know, I got a uh, uh, so I emailed his team or whatever um, link I, I, I found and uh, it was his team that responded to me and they said, let's meet today. And I thought I was going to meet with his handlers and just discuss financials. And I was surprised that he he showed up on call and, you know, money wasn't even, we didn't even discuss money or, or his fees or his prices or, or any of that. We just, you know, strictly talked perfumes and, and what we love and what we don't like. And we shared a lot of ideas and, and thoughts and that kind of thing. And, and, and creative process and he talked about the industry a bit so it was it was really nice to learn and, and, and listen and and stuff like that from a master perfumer uh, what else can I tell you you know as far as branding and logos and stuff like that I have pretty much 95% made up my mind on what I want to do it's not finalized nothing is finalized um, I actually wanted to share this with you guys. If you guys want to be part of this process, I would love to do a back and forth. If you guys have some ideas, you know, I'm all open. I'm, you, you guys are part of this journey with me. Uh, you guys are very important to me. Uh, you know, after all these years getting to know you guys and you guys have been become a big part of my life. So this is important to me and, uh, I'd be more than happy to take uh, recommendations and, and just listen to if anybody has any good ideas or um, what kind of genres and perfumery you'd like to see. I am I am thinking about launching with with three perfumes. Hopefully, by you know I don't have a time. I'm not I'm not set on a timeline. Whenever it happens, it happens. But I am looking. You know, hopefully this year, sometime the end of this year. Uh, with I'd love to launch with three or four perfumes. I already got the briefs. You know, I've had them. I've been, you know, hammering them out over the last couple of months. So it's just a matter of uh, looking over them with, with the perfumer. But yeah, I'd love to get some feedback from you guys. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, a couple people I got to thank. I really got to thank uh, my friend George Zaharoff, who has really been instrumental in this for me. Uh, George is really uh, one of my biggest supporters. I've spent hours and hours and hours talking to him, uh, video calls and, and phone calls, not just about perfume, but you know, personal stuff. You all know that I've been on kind of this this personal journey the last 15 months and healing and and a little bit of the suffering that I've been going through and, and just the personal growth. And George has been a little bit a part of that. And, uh, you know, he's helped me with contacts and, and he's tried to share as much as he possibly could. He, he was very um, forthcoming and, and, and uh, 
you know, he's really the one that planted the seed. I, this is something that I wanted to do, but he kept saying to me, you know, Eugene, I know you're going to have your own brand one day. I see it. I feel it. I know it. Like he, he felt it and he kept saying that and he planted that seed and that seed started to germinate and form in my mind and it just started to manifest and it, and it started to, you know, that voice in my head, it just got louder and louder and louder and louder that I'm going to have my own brand. I want my own brand. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I want. And it came to the point where it was so unbearable that I couldn't ignore it anymore. So George, thank you so much. You know, from the bottom of my heart, you really were instrumental in so many of my videos. You commented, you know, I know in, in, in the one thumbnail i had a frederick mall bottle and i changed the 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 name of the fragrance to eugenius and you said yeah i can see it already and uh that was a really it was a big motivator for me uh getting to know george he came to my house one day when he was doing uh review the reviewers and um you know, I thought he was going to come, he was going to get his video and he was going to scram, but it wasn't like that at all. Like the video was the last thing on his mind. He sat here for hours. We had a uh, dinner. We had a conversation, you know, about everything, you know, personal stuff, uh, perfume. So it was just, you know, it was eye opening that there are beautiful people out there that care about you. And George is definitely one of those guys. Uh, I always love his company. I love his positivity. And I just kind of love the energy that he brings. So uh, thank you, George. Another guy I really want to thank is uh, my friend Ashton. He's also been very helpful. Uh, he's been going through this and he's done this. And, um, you know, he's helped me with some stuff and listened and, and kind of ran ideas by me. And I talk to him quite often. Uh, he's, he has offered for, uh, me to do a, a perfume for his Galleria line. And, uh, you know, that's probably going to happen, um, before I launch my own. So look out for that. Uh, you know, the offer was just too good. It, and it was well before that I had made up my mind, um, to do my own thing. He, he said, hey, I got this for you. If you're interested, you can do it. You can pick any perfumer you want. You can create any genre you want. You know, anything you want, it's yours. You, you come up with the brief. So I've submitted a brief. It was about a month ago, maybe longer, month and a half. It could have been two, two months, I'm not sure. So that's in the works. That could be out uh, possibly this summer. Um, that's kind of thrilling for me as well. I can't... Uh, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what the final result will be. Um, I won't reveal any more information till a little bit later, but I did get to choose my perfumer of, of choice. And that was awesome. You know, it was like the first perfumer that came to my mind. I was like, this is who I want. I actually chose two and I got to work with both of them. So that's pretty thrilling as well. Uh, so big thank you to both you guys, but the person I got to thank the most for this is uh, my beautiful wife, Maria, who has always supported me. And, you know, even though she's not here anymore, I finally get why this had to happen. And she, you know, she's suffered she sacrificed our relationship in order for me to uh go after my dreams and i finally get that like it all makes sense to me now it you know it all comes full circle thank you She's always supported me and, and even to this day, you know, she's still my best friend and supporting and asking how it's going and I finally get it. You know, I get it. I just so asleep for all these years. And when I wake up, you know, everything's possible. 
The saying, you know, ask and you shall receive has never been more true. So, and, and my message to everybody is if you have any dreams or goals, you know, do it. Just go for it. You know, the only thing holding you back is your own thoughts, your own uh, limited beliefs. So, um, I've always had limited beliefs, never thought I was worthy or good enough or you know, good stuff couldn't happen to me, but that's the farthest thing from the truth. You know, we're all worthy. We're all worthy of love. We're all worthy of, you know, the things that we seek and we're all perfect just the way we are. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. I wanted to let that out, let it be known. You know, I'm not this is what I'm after. This is what I'm going to do. And uh, I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for what is waiting for me. So drop your comments down below. We'll see you in the comments section. Like this video. Share this video, please. And thank you. And we will see you soon.